<laughs> M&M's announced that they've redesigned their iconic M&M characters after people requested that the brown M&M not look like a teacher who has sex with her students. <laughs> In a new documentary, an ex-girlfriend of <laughs> Prince Andrew describes Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell as Batman and Robin. Come on, what does Batman and Robin have in common with a billionaire that grooms teenagers? <laughs> Gen Z icon Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> 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 is petitioning the court for the return of his rifle so he can destroy it. I don't know, careful, Kyle. Trying to get your memorabilia back is how they finally got OJ. <laughs> In a new interview, Bono reveals that he never liked the name U2, adding, I also kind of hate Ireland. <laughs> Actor John Voight recently released a video claiming that Abraham Lincoln's spirit was guiding Donald Trump. Hopefully not to a theater. <laughs> <laughs> a longtime director of Wheel of Fortune has died at the age of 92, said Wheel of Fortune viewers, wow, so young. <laughs> uh -huh. Amazon announced that their new Lord of the Rings TV series will be called Rings of Power, Though I'm personally more excited for the spin-off, Gollum in Paris. <laughs> Officials in Hong Kong announced that after some hamsters in a pet store tested positive for COVID, they had to kill more than 2,000 of the pets. Okay, but they didn't have to do it in front of the class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a man in Canada stole an $8,000 guitar by hiding it in his pants. Police caught the man when he got an erection, and it sounded like this. <laughs> Scientists have trained a goldfish to drive a car. They believe it's the first step to eventually training women. <laughs> Dwayne, jo <laughs> Dwayne Johnson said that a skull of a T-Rex seen behind him during a recent interview was a replica and not the real thing. Johnson also said it's just a coincidence that his diet calls for a thousand pounds of dinosaur meat a day. <laughs> the oldest living person in the United States died this week at the age of 115. It's a powerful reminder to always test your cocaine for fentanyl. 